Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next operator known as backward difference operator. But before that, we saw the forward difference operator. And the forward difference operator states that y of n is equal to y of n plus 1 minus y of n. That is, if we have y of n here, then this term will be y of n plus 1. Then we are taking the difference of the forward operator and the initial operator. Now we have the backward difference operator, which is represented by inverted delta of y of n. So now we will take the difference of the backward variable. So now here the forward variable is y of n plus 1 and we have taken the difference of y of n plus 1 minus initial variable. So here we are taking the difference of initial variable minus the previous variable then it is known as backward difference. So we have y of n minus y of n minus 1. If y is equal to f of x then this can be represented as delta of f of x then this is our f of x then this will be x f of x plus h where h is the difference between the two variable or it is the interval h. So del f of x in this forward operator is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x. In this case this will be f of x this will be f of x plus h and this will be f of x minus h. Then the backward difference of f of x is given by f of x minus f of x minus h. So this is the backward difference operator. So let's say we put n equal to 0 in this. We will get delta inverted delta of y0 equal to y0 minus y0 of 0 minus 1 which will be y of minus 1. Similarly when we put y equal n equal to 1 here we will get inverted delta of y1 equal to y1 minus y of 1 minus 1 that is y of 0. So from this two we can conclude that inverted delta of we can conclude that inverted delta of y of n is nothing but y of n minus y of n minus 1. We can take multiple deltas also. So this is our delta of y0 equal to y0 minus y of minus 1. If we take the delta again inverted delta again so we get delta of y0 equal to inverted delta of y0 minus y of minus 1. I am taking this inverted delta inside so I will get inverted delta of y0 minus inverted delta of y of minus 1 and this will become inverted delta square y0 and this term. So in general we can write this as inverted delta the whole raised to n y of 0. So we can write as inverted delta the whole raised to n y of 0 is equal to inverted delta of n minus 1 y0 minus inverted delta of n minus 1 y of minus 1. So this is the generalized formula for backward difference operator. More such operators we will see in our next video. So Stay tuned for our future lectures.